How's it going, church family? For the month of February, we're gonna be taking a focused look at a couple people of color whose faith challenges us in our own spiritual growth. In February, we do celebrate Black History Month, but Black History is a part of our collective story that we have opportunities to learn, both you and I, so we can grow, and the things that we learn can lead to change in our lives and change in the lives of the people that are around us. So uh, to start our time, we're gonna focus on a woman named Octavia Albert, but I wanna ask a quick question. How many important memories do you have that started around a kitchen table? For many of us, we, we've had different crafts laid out at the table with our kids that we're doing, or science projects, or even uh, meals that were super important. Maybe you asked um, your, your current wife's parents to, to marry her around that kitchen table. Some real memories happen around the kitchen table. And the woman that we're gonna be focusing on today, Octavia Albert, used her kitchen table uh, to be able to catalog some of these moments um, of people who she cared about in her life. So Octavia was a former slave in the South and after her emancipation, she went on to go to university to become a teacher and she married a pastor and she did ministry side by side with him for a time. And although she only lived 37 years, uh, around her kitchen table, she ended up cataloging and chronicling 250 years of black history through just inviting people, sharing meals, singing songs, and seeking out these deliverance stories uh, in these people who have seen what slavery was like for firsthand. All of this raw material would end up going into one of her written works called House of Bondage, uh, but she really felt that she had to capture these stories of deliverance to really show the truth and the freedom that comes with the gospel. So I am drawn to her example of creating space, valuing people, giving them uh, a time and a place to share their story and to be listened to as she sought to encourage other people with the gospel and seek out the gospel in their lives um, as it was playing out right in front of them. So for us, church, the example that I see uh, to implement in my own life and our lives as well, is who can we be inviting around the table? Whose story can we learn for the sake of encouraging somebody else with the gospel? And even showing how a God that we serve can deliver and save and give freedom. So I am excited for these series of videos and I hope you tune in next week. Thanks guys.